Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy HD. In the last episode, we progressed through the through the engine no room dome, and we com pretty much completed Toy Time Galaxy. In this episode, we're gonna be pretty much finishing the engine room dome by starting off here in Bonefin Galaxy. Now, if I remember correctly, all these all these small galaxies they're very small and pretty short. Let's see if I remember correctly. King Fear Finn's fearsome waters. Yeah, okay, I remember this. Yeah, this is literally this whole mission is just one big boss fight. But it's a cool boss fight. Yeah, man, just look at the look, just okay, before we go, take a look at just take a look at this galaxy. We got this like these spirit things. It looks really cool. Is there anyone on board this ship? I guess not. I could have sworn I thought there was someone bo on board here back. Maybe I'm just wrong, but anyway, yeah. Let's just head on over here and begin this. And oh no, what could it be? Is it Jaws? Oh my god. I'm being filmed by Steve. I'm in a Steven Spielberg movie. No. It's it's Jaws after he was killed. So yeah, this is this is King Finn. He's just a big giant shark. All you have to do is pearl shells at him, but he's not really much of a problem. His friends are these torpedo bone fish things. These guys, they are very annoying. See? And also the fact that, you know, you need air occasionally, so. Yeah, this boss fight definitely, it can be challenging. With, you know, air and fighting something that doesn't really need to worry about that. And oh, oh, yeah. Just make sure you line up. I'm doing pretty good with hitting the, him, so that's good. Let's get the red shield to make this even better. I think, and also the fact that you need to hit him quite a few times for him to finally go down. Like, he's no pushover. He's definitely... He's definitely the king of these waters, I'll tell you that. Anyway, let's just... What? Oh, okay, and apparently that's poison gas. Didn't know that. Alright, where is he? Oh, right in front of me. And I think we've hit him three times, but... Yeah, he's got more friends. Alright. Why do I keep missing these shells, really? Can someone just tell me why? Why do I keep missing? There we go, thank you. Okay. King Finn, take that. Oh, I actually got him. Cool. Get it. Darn it. Yeah, don't... Definitely keep moving, so you don't get comboed like I just did. Where is he? Where are you? You big dead megalodon thing. Have you have any of you actually seen that movie Megalodon? A lot of people did not like that movie. I did. It was pretty good. Anyway, I think we beat him. Yep, we did. He's done. We double killed him. We killed a dead fish. All right. Where is the star? Oh. It's right there. Can I get the thing?
There we go. Jeez. That was weird. I was like, not going into the star, but we got a star. Yeah, just like I told you guys, these are pretty short. We already got the question mark block galaxy done. And now we got the enemy base, which is also fairly short. Alright, let's head on in. Let's take on this enemy base. Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor. Let's hit go. King Caliente's Spicy Return. Yeah, if, you, if that name sounds familiar, that's actually, the, I think, that's actually the boss that we fought way back in the very beginning of the game, in, in Good Egg Galaxy. He, I guess he got a big promotion, even after we defeated him. So anyway, um, what we have to do, we need to free that launch stars, and in order to do that, we need to attract the attention of a bullet bill. So, let's go and find some bullet bills to attract but yeah I just gotta say look this galaxy looks pretty nice and in HD look look at the lava look at the light that it's reflecting off of Mario it's just it looks nice but anyway um here's a bullet bill and you know what I'll just farm this planet for everything it's got which includes Enemies, one-ups, coins. Oh. Alright. Nothing left to get except for the launch star. So... go. Alright. So we just have this little area up here to show off these platforms. Basically these platforms, they sink when you go on them. So yeah, and on a lava planet like this, that's not too good. Anyway, yeah, we got these guys. Once again, just defeat them, and off we go. Uh, we're already at the boss fight. <laughs> if I give up any more grand stars, my dad's gonna get mad. So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. Like, I don't understand why did they upgrade him so much? He was just a simple level boss from. From Good Egg Galaxy, from the from the Terra Stone, the very beginning of the game. Well, I don't know how you got this promotion, but I'm gonna take it away by defeating you once again to show how simple of a boss you are. Like he's not even any different. Like the only the only difference is these sinking platforms, which I mean they had a bit of a difficulty, but not a lot. It's not like they disappear; they're still there and they come back up. I mean, I just don't get it. And yeah, he's once again not king. Oh, and now he has meteors. Okay. So yeah, I guess I don't know why he, this guy he's upgraded to a grand star boss and one that's this late in the game. We literally just defeated him so easily. Yeah, it literally took us like a minute. I don't understand. Maybe someone asked Miyamoto why he did this, thought this was a good idea. I don't know why, but yeah. I literally did not take any damage in that fight. Probably that was probably the easiest Grand Star battle so far. So, let's do and let's uh, let's go and collect our sixth Grand Star. You got a Grand Star.
All right. And instead of just activating one dome, this activated two domes. Two for the price of one. Galaxy complete. And we discovered some new galaxies. Four. All right, guys. So, um, yeah. And, oh, looks like we got a letter from Princess Peach. Okay. Yes, I'll take them. All right. Yes, we will, Toad. All right. So now let's go and take care of the hungry Luma of um the engine room dome, which he's right up. It is P. She. It is right up here. Hey you, yeah you got any tasty starbits? If you eat a bunch of starbits, I'll press a snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need one thousand. Okay, that's like actually, eh, that's not too bad. It's not even half of my inventory. There you go. Enjoy them. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. The Sand Spiral Galaxy has appeared. Alright. Let's go. This, this is all we're going to be doing for the rest of, the, of this episode, so... Yeah. Choosing a favorite snack. Oh, I remember this galaxy. Yeah, this galaxy. It's pretty interesting. This one, it revolves around items. But not just one item. Many different kinds of items. And also, one thing, just look up, just look. This magical be fires, and then he just leaves. What a coward. I'm going to defeat you right now, just for being a coward. And, oh, okay. I see you took vengeance on me, even as you died. This white mushroom is yummy. So, we could either choose between the Boo Shroom or the Bee Mario. I prefer the Boo Shroom. It's easy, and you are always flying. So, yeah, just avoid the lights, and avoid the booze, and you'll be fine. And I think if you go in the sand, yeah, you're kind of dead, so. Yeah, just avoid all that. I don't think water affects it. I'm not sure, but, you know, it's not like we found out anyway. Alright, so. There we go. It's bright because of the moonlight. So yeah. Alright. So yeah. Just take this. And. Wow. That was. That was great. Alright. Take this. And. Go and run. Run your butt off. Just go, 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 and here we go, star on the moon, cool, we got a star, alright, so that pretty much takes care of, um, this galaxy. And the engine dome. The engine room dome. In the next episode, guys, um, we will be going into another new dome. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. It's over.